So it's the next day and I'm finally getting around to, you know, sharing a little bit about like my plans for the truck now. So, uh, you know, this honestly is a perfect day for this because, you know, the aesthetic is awesome. So this is how the truck sits currently. Uh, it has the Milestar Patagonia tire still on it, the still same bumper and everything. Uh, basically, the only thing that's different is the camper shell. So I found this camper shell like a couple weeks back and uh, it was like 300 bucks. So I messaged the guy and drove all the way up to Topeka, Kansas to go pick it up. So that was about a you know, eight hour round trip. So it wasn't too bad. So my main goal with this truck right now is to, you know, just make a, the ultimate like hunting slash camping, you know, just outdoor rig. So, uh, because a lot of my interests this year have been uh, fishing and all that stuff. And I'm starting to get into hunting a little bit more. So I'm wanting to make this truck like the ultimate rig to, uh, you know, suit my needs there. And then also be a good towing rig for other projects I might have in the future, which in the future I plan on having some projects, uh, diesel projects. So this will be good. So, uh, I plan on putting like a uh, pull-out drawer system in the bed for the camper shell. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit. So I have a winch in here ready to go for this. And uh, so I'm gonna build a pull-out drawer system. So I keep all my stuff organized in the pull-out drawers. And then, you know, just make it a very usable rig. So the pull-out drawers where I can store all my camping gear and all that stuff. And then still be able to put all the stuff on top. So it'll be good. But uh, anyway, I was supposed to have some new wheels coming in for this thing, but come to find out those because of COVID aren't coming in for a while. So we'll see about that, but I may order a different set. But the wheels that were supposed to be coming coming in were sponsored by uh, XF Off-Road, but they, they've had all kinds of issues this year with COVID. So I, I'm pretty understanding with that. But anyway, so this is how the truck sits right now currently. And, uh, you know, little changes every now and then. So also another big change that I haven't really updated on was uh, the transmission went out about, about, I'd say about two months ago. So I replaced it with an ATS diesel transmission and it, it can support up to like 750 horsepower, I'd like to say. So uh, that transmission's doing a lot better than the old one was because the old one, the overdrive gear was just literally like shredded. It was, it was awful. So the overdrive gear was bad on it. And then the torque converter was also like really bad and it, it had a really bad shutter. So this one has a lot better power transfer and it shifts a lot better too. So I'm really thankful that I was able to get that done. And yeah, so. So I'm glad I got to share a little bit of like the plans that have changed and also some of the, uh, you know, stuff that's been going on and give you guys a little bit of an update because it's been a while since I've posted about this thing, so. So let me know if you guys want to see more on this truck because uh, I'm ready to get back into the swing of things and actually make uh, videos again, not just the compilations. I'm still going to keep those going, so don't worry about that. So I'm turning around back here. Man, I forgot how bad this road gets back here. I haven't been down here in a while. But uh, got the truck and two-wheel drive, you know. These uh, Milestar Patagonia tires, they do really good. So I'm not even sponsored by them. I kind of wish I was, but oh well. Oh man, so really not wanting to get stuck, so probably should have put in four low, but yeah, I just have pretty good confidence in these tires, and I have probably about 15,000 miles on them, so they've been doing really good, and they sure eat up the mud. Yeah, if you guys watched my last uh, truck update video, uh, you know, it's probably January, the last time I made a video about it. I, I've made a video of me taking this truck through some trails uh, since then, but um, uh, nothing's changed since that last video. Oh man, I, I wish I could uh, do a little bit more with this thing and uh, I wish I could have had a little bit more done since the last video, but oh well, little things a little bit at a time, so we'll get it eventually, but uh, so like I said, the wheels were supposed to come in, but they didn't. And uh, yeah, no, no hurt feelings there, but I just want to get those in pretty soon so I can, you know, just change up the look of the truck a little bit. But uh, 
Anyway, so now my goal, you know, like I said, is to make an off-road slash camping rig, but uh, I also just want to keep this thing reliable. So, oh my goodness, my drink spilled there. Uh, yeah, this thing has actually been pretty reliable, you know, it, it, it still has its hiccups, but uh, compared to like whenever I first bought the thing, this this truck is night and day different so it's definitely a definitely a uh, difference so less of a hassle to keep up with the maintenance on it because I've dumped so much money into this truck and uh, honestly I'm gonna make a video about that pretty soon about like all the stuff that I've done to this thing so if you guys are interested to see that uh, you know stay tuned and it'll probably be within the next couple of weeks so stay tuned for that so Anyway, I won't keep you guys too much longer, so thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys for uh, subscribing, and uh, I know most of you guys are subscribed for the compilations, but uh, I'm starting to ramp up the, you know, the building trucks again, so that's what, that's ultimately what I want to do with this channel, so, uh, you know, stay tuned for that, and, you know, we'll just see where it takes us, so thank you so much for, you know, subscribing, liking the videos, and it really means a lot. So y'all take care and uh, have a blessed day.